This composite was inspired by the song The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. And all the mood, atmosphere and lighting that's in this image was created using Photoshop brushes. What I'm going to do is show you the breakdown of the layers where I've crafted in the atmosphere, mood and lighting. Then I'll show you how you can use brushes to create a similar effect in your photos or composites. Let's dive in and have some fun. All my elements are in place. Now it's about crafting in the mood, atmosphere and the lighting that I had in my vision. Coming over to the layer stack here, I'm going to show you each layer that I used in my workflow. Now when I looked at the image, it's a nighttime image, and so I thought I'm going to put a moon in and I have a moon Photoshop brush. I find with using the brushes, particularly for a moon, I can get consistency in my look. doesn't always work with a photograph. I'm going to turn that layer on and you can see there's the moon. I've done it on a blank layer. I'm going to come up and have a look at the opacity and the blend mode and the opacity is roughly around about 68%. And I'll play with the opacity or the blend modes when I'm using the brushes. My next layer is the lamp post. And when I looked at it, it had light but I wanted a little bit of a shaft of light coming out. I'll turn that layer on and you can see now it's just got like a light beam. I'm going to have a look at the blend mode, normal, but the opacity is sitting at 54%. If I put that up to 100%, it's quite bright and dominant and you don't want that necessarily for a light source. So I'll turn that back to the opacity now I look at it and I think I want mystery, I want mood coming in. So I added in a fog brush. I'll turn that layer on and you can see now I've just dabbed in different areas with fog. Let's have a look at the blend mode, normal, but opacity is at 64%. If you come back down to the layers, you'll see I've put a mask in and what I've done is brushed away the mist and the fog where I didn't want it. And that's a really great tip to do. Even though you might be dabbing this fog or mist in, with some places that you don't want, and so you just soften those areas. The next layer is where I used an element from my creative stash. I wanted some depth behind the lamp post and I tried different brushes and it just wasn't working for me. I'm going to turn that layer on, and you can see now it's just given some added depth and dimension into that background. But I'm going to change the blend mode. So have a look at the blend mode. It's soft light, and my opacity is sitting at 84. But I'm going to change it to normal, and then I'm going to change it to roughly around about 100%. And that's actually what the element is, just looks like blobs of paint. But I thought it would be fantastic to use as a fog or mist element. So I'm going to come back to soft light and I'll drop down that opacity to get it right down where I want it to be. And it's subtle. The rest of the layers that are in my workflow was all about colour grading, doing a little bit of levels and curves. But I added the atmosphere and the mood and the lighting before I went through the other layers. What I'm going to do now is show you how you can use brushes to get a similar look. Let's have some fun now adding in some light, mood and atmosphere using brushes. I want to add the moon in now, so I'm going to come up to my actions panel here and I'm going to click on new blank layer and that gives me a layer now that I can use my brush on. I've got my brush panel open here. My brushes will look different to yours because I've collected brushes over the years and I've put them into an order that works for me. I've got a brush collection in the shop that has a number of brushes and I'm going to go and get my moon brush. 
I'll click on that and you'll come over and there's the moon brush. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure that the foreground is white and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can actually see and I'll do one click and there's the moon. It's a little bit dominant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to my transform tool. Control T is the shortcut key. I'm going to size that down. I can actually rotate it a little bit if I want. I'll come up and click on the tick. Now I'll adjust the opacity. I'll drop that right down. And there's my moon brush. Now what I want to do is add some light into that lamp post. Again, new blank layer. And if I move my mouse cursor over, you'll see that I've still got the moon brush. And I find that's annoying for me. So I'll come up to my actions panel and click on the action soft round brush, which changes it to a normal soft round brush. But what I'm going to look for now is which brush do I want to use to put some light in. I'm going to collapse this collection and then I'm going to come down and have a look at different brushes that I've got. So I'm going to come into Atmosphere and I've got one that's in that collection and it's a light burst and I'll just bring that over and you can actually see the shape of it. I'm going to make sure that it's white and the opacity is sitting at 100%. Now if I click, that's quite dominant and I don't want that so I'm going to undo what I'm going to do is hold down my Alt or Option key and sample the yellow that's in that lamp post. And you can see it's very subtle there. I'm going to come up to the opacity and drop it at doubt, ooh, 36, trial and error. Make it a bit bigger with my bracket key and I'm going to dabble click. And that now has put some subtle light shaft coming out of that lamp but I need to reposition that so I'm going to come up get my transform tool I'm going to move that around even rotate it a little bit and I might want to rotate it the other way this is why I like doing all my brushwork on a blank layer it's positioned just there I'll click on the tick and I'm happy with that I'll come up and I'll go soft round brush. I've just got into the habit of this within my workflow and I find it works for me. Now what I want to do is add that fog or mist. New blank layer. Now I'm going to come down and have a look in the atmosphere and see what brushes that I've got. I've got a mist brush in there. Now the mist can be a bit more subtle I can use a soft fog or a fog. Let's just do the fog for a moment and you can see that's there. I'm going to leave it at that colour. I'm not going to change it. Now this is where the opacity comes in. I'm going to drop that right down to about, we'll say the 40s. Make my brush a little bit bigger with the bracket key. I'm going to use the arrow key to rotate. And now this is where you don't click, hold and drag because it just becomes a blob. I'm going to undo that and I think I need to drop the opacity right down into the 30s and what I call click and dab. Click, dab. Now if you look at that, that's still strong and I don't like this brush so what I'll do is undo to get rid of that I'm going to come down to another one that's in the atmosphere, a soft fog. And let's have a little look at what that does. And that looks like round shapes and I don't like that. And this is where, coming back down, I'm going to have a look at a mist brush and I'm just going to change the opacity right down to about 27, trial and error, when you're starting to work with brushes and I'm just click and dab, click and dab 
put a little bit over there and I'm just dabbing. I don't click, hold and drag. I just do click and dab. And I put just where I think the fog can be. I'll turn that layer off and on. Now I can see that there's some mist down there and I don't like that. So I'm going to come down here, get my mask, click on that. I'm going to make sure that I want to brush that off. I'll have a look at the opacity. I'm going to leave it at 27. I make sure that I'm clicked on the mask and I'm just going to brush that off. And you can see now it's very subtle on the mask. Let's turn that layer off and on and look at the difference by using several Photoshop brushes. Now what I did in my workflow, and I'll come back and change that to a soft round brush, I did use that element. I could use the brush again. I'll come back and I'll click on that layer and I'll choose a soft fog. I'm going to make the opacity around about 100. And that may be what will work depending on your image. But I've done it all on the same layer, so I'm going to undo that. Now what I want to do is a new blank layer. Now I'm going to put that fog right behind that lamp post. So that can work. It was just for me when I was in that process, I wanted something a little bit more stronger. What I'm going to do now is come over to the layer stack and adjust the blend mode. I might even, I'm going to change the blend mode. And this is where I'll just go with my different blend modes. I think I'll go overlay and I have dropped the opacity, but if I put that up to 100%, I get a totally different look. Using Photoshop brushes allowed me to create a moody, atmospheric image, and it was fun to create. And you can have fun using all the different Photoshop brushes to create elements, mood and atmosphere in your composite images.